They got me for my money again. I had to go get these SBs from StockX. Can I please get an SB for retail? Welcome Cool Cats and Doggies to another episode of Feekin' Sneaks. Today we'll be going to the Nike SB Dunk Low Adobe. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe and turn that notification bell to catch all the content we have on this channel. At the end of the video, make sure you leave a comment below if you bang with it. I'm banging with them, so I bought them for resale. Did I jump the gun? And make sure to check me out on all social media platforms like Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, TikTok, I'm out here. But let's hop into the review of this nice clean shoe. Yeah, yeah. Now we start off with the box, always purple Nike SB box, not a special edition joint, but a SB nonetheless, okay? As I said in the intro, I caught from StockX. I'll talk about that price later on. This says Nike SB Dunglo Premium Adobe Adobe Phantom. Put that right there. Size 13, Big Feet Gang. Salute! Once you open up this box, we're going to get the shoe without the StockX tag on it. And then I'm going to take that tag off. All right? You can see this right here. Now... I think this shoe's clean, but we're gonna get into some of the details. And y'all start seeing my affinity for SBs. I was told the other day, all I do is review dunks now, and that's not on purpose. It's just, I'm not hitting on these J's, and it's easy still, I think. As you can see, this is the Nike SB Dunk Low Adobe. That name, you're probably thinking of, like Adobe Writer Illustrator. That's not what this is. When I first heard of this, I thought of Adobe like clay, like using it for construction and building houses, but I just think of Native Americans, because. I, that just stuck with me growing up as a kid. Did I miss history class? Let's talk about some of the details on the shoe. For your overlays, you have this nice suede. If you've been on the channel, you've realized I'm addicted to suede. That's why I went out and I copped this shoe. For your overlays, starting at your toe cap, suede. Once you get to your toe box, there is some wax canvas right there. Heading towards the middle of your shoe, you agree with more of that wax canvas. Your swoosh is now introducing you with some leather, and then you can still see more overlays in that suede material. Heading towards the back of your shoe, you have Nike on your back heel in white, and you also start to see some white stitching. The one random thing about the shoe, I guess, would be the white. I don't dislike it on the back where the Nike is, but having an all white sock liner is a kind of weird. It is kind of weird to me. Like I know they need to throw in a second color. For instance, there's white on your tongue tag, so I understand that white was then randomly thrown into the shoe, but on the sock line, it's still weird. Puffy tongue, because it's an SB, so you get your mesh puffy tongue right there, and it's pink. This reminds me of Majin Buu. Like I said, an all-white tongue tag with Nike SB on it in pink. If you look in your insoles, you agree with these little skateboard graphics that I think are kind of cool. You get those in both your shoes. An all-gum midsole, and the gum also with a little Adobe pink in the middle right there, and that... That, that just has me asphyxiated. I mean, I'm, I pay resale for these, which we're about to get into. All pink laces are in your shoes, but if you don't want the pink laces, they did come with white ones. Maybe you throw in more white with the laces and then you might be more comfortable with the white sock liner and then the random white in the back. But I feel like I'm still going to stay with the pink. And this shoe is predominantly, for the most part, monotone. I know a lot of people, wait for it, I've been going hand with the Dunk Hamilton. I've been seeing compare pictures with these because these two dunks were monotone with gum bottoms even though this had like the what was it again the half recycled material for it so this one has regrind on it and this one's just a gum but these are two monotone dunks so everybody compared them which one do you like better i know most people are going to say the lows because it's a low but then i always question would you like this one better if this was a low because i still think this shoe is better but i'm glad i copped them both this for retail this for resale Let's talk about the price of these and according to my calculations right now. Let's let's just get down to it. This is technically, would this be considered a got em early moment? A got em early. Got em early. Right, like one of those? I guess so. So these started dropping randomly in the last week or two, end of January, early February on skate shops. And I thought that would be the only way to get them and I didn't hit on any of them, any of the raffles for these skate shops. So I went ahead and paid for them resale. I thought the retail price was 130. I think shops were selling it at 120 or 130. I don't recall. But let's see how much I paid for the shoe. Size 13, 
I paid 160 for it, but here's the StockX, the getcha. 1087 for tax, 643 for processing fee, 1495 for shipping. I paid 192.22. So if retail was 100 or 120, I spent 70, 80 more bucks. Now, I'm still not tripping because it was less than a GR Jordan and it gets better materials, suede, canvas, and leather with a gum bottom. And the SB gives you the puffy tongue. And because it's an SB, it gives you that zoom air inside, so it's more comfortable than a regular J or a regular dump. So I'm not mad. But now knowing that they are going to come out February 22nd on the sneakers app, maybe I could have waited. Maybe I jumped the gun. But I'm not tripping because I still think it was a good find. If you can get these anything less than what I got it for, I think you should cop. If you hit it on the 22nd, which I hope you do, congratulations. But... I just want to know if y'all bang with these shoes because I'm going to go ahead and give this shoe a grade right now. I'm digging the monotone. I'm one of those people that you can go ahead and give me this same thing 20 times different upper, just maybe not with white sock liner, and I'll probably want to buy it. I mean, that's just kind of how I do shoes. When I like a silhouette, I want it in every single color. Sock liner downgrades the shoe just a little bit, but I will give this shoe an eight. I got another pink SB that I haven't shown. I guess I gotta dig down there and grab it. That one's good, like a 10. But this one gets like an eight. I like the O to Adobe, whether that is for Native Americans or just for construction. I like that the insoles have something different. I love the classic gum bottom, and I'm digging SBs. Like, I don't like low top shoes besides SBs and Kobe's, I think. Maybe some CB, Charles Barkley lows or something. Or maybe penny one. Okay, I take that back. But typically, the, the lows that I'm buying nowadays are SB Dunk lows. Let me know in the comments below if you think eight's too high, if you like the almost monotone shoe with the gum bottom. But let me know if, like, you're not digging with it. Because one of those bad old cliches, real men wear pink, that's stupid. Wear whatever shoes you want, but I'm rocking it pink nowadays. And what you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. Also, let me know if I'm a fool for, for paying 191 Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And like I said, always let me know in the comments, do you like this better? Would you like this better if it was lower? Like a low. Because it's okay. I got them both, so I ain't going to get hurt. Smell good. Oh, where's that stock extra tag? Let's rip that off. We're going to rip this off. Because it's, it's never a flex to buy shoes for resale. I would clearly, if I double up on these, then I'll probably have to give one to my brother or a boy of mine or trade it for another SB to make up value. But it's never cool to buy shoes for resale. It's only out of necessity on this channel. And for me, that's the way I live my life. I'd rather have one of these for 110 or 120 and not pay 190 Bye.